Hi everyone, I'm Gareth Spence and welcome to Tech Talk. If you're interested in the development of mobile connectivity in subway networks, then you're probably already familiar with BAI. Today we're focusing on their work in the London Underground. And to help me with this, I'm joined by BAI's Ken Ranger and AdTran's Anthony McGee. Ken, for anyone unfamiliar with BAI, can you tell me about the company? Sure. BAI is a communications infrastructure provider. We're providing systems and services around the world, from Australia, Hong Kong, here in Europe, across the United States and, in, and Canada. And we're a growing company, and it's exciting times. You mentioned that you were a growing company. And looking at the headlines, you've had tremendous success almost in every corner of the world. How are you managing to scale that growth? Well, it's lucky to be in the right, uh, right type of business that is growing. And how we're managing to scale that growth is by a lot of things. We have a lot of uh, technical expertise in our different markets that we work across and collaborate with. And we also have our partner and our, and our channel ecosystem. Happy to say AdTrans part of that. Again, mentioning the headlines though, you made them recently with an acquisition of Zenfi in New York. Are acquisitions a key part of your, your growth? Yeah, certainly acquisitions are a part of our growth strategy. Um, certainly when they're complementary. I mean, if you look at what Zenfi has in New York, uh, in the New York area, combine that with the Transit Wireless uh, network, Transit Wireless being uh, experts and specialty, specializing in underground connectivity with fiber above ground, and you combine that with what Zenfi has with fiber and, and wireless service above ground, put them together, it's a fantastic combination. Shifting from New York to the UK market, you're currently working with Transport for London to bring mobile connectivity to the London Underground. How is that journey progressing? Yeah, it's it's been a it's been a lot of fun, as you can imagine, bringing connectivity into a 160 year old system. Uh, funny they didn't think about cell phones uh, back then. So we are now um, bringing um, cell phone service in. And it, of course, there's uh, cell phone systems underground and cell phone systems around the world. The uniqueness of the underground, the size and scale of the underground, the fact the underground is that old, that is the challenge. It's the, it's the complexity, is, the, is finding space, trying to find power. If you have power, then you have heat loss. Where do you dissipate the heat? And that circle of work that anyone that's been involved with deploying networks can imagine, combine that into a space like the underground and, and, and anyone can really understand the challenges. Atran is, is playing a key role in the development of that network. What led you to them? Yeah, I mean, so it was a, as you can imagine, with a, with a tender such as this that Transport for London put out, it was a multi-year exercise. So along that way, we talked to all kinds of uh, vendors in the, in the ecosystem. And where we came across Adtran, um, and then we started to have interest in the products, it became more just that, how do we iteratively learn together what will work in the underground? And how, so I, what got us to Adtran? Sure, there's marketing, but what kept us with Adtran would be um, the time and the dedication, not just the products that Adtran worked with us on to customize your products for that environment. Okay, I think now would be a good time to bring Anthony into the discussion. Uh, how did you initially support BAI with the, with the TFL bid? So we thoroughly analyzed the bid. We understood that it was multifaceted, multi-technology. There were a number of interesting use cases. So underground radio communications network, base station hotels, eventually moving above ground, and then on to enterprise and customer retail outlets and the like. And that led us to a multi-technology uh, solution that we put forward to, to BAI. And what would you say stands Adtran apart, uh, especially for helping companies like BAI? So we took the Adtran portfolio, we looked at the various use cases, so they had to service multi-mobile operators, so multiple mobile operators, their own connectivity needs, so mobile front hall in the tunnels, base station hotel connectivity, and then synchronization. So we took different components of the Adtran portfolio, so optical, passive and active, carry wreath net, um, layer three components, but also uh, synchronization. Put those all into the solution and then built a replica of the network in our Poland laboratories and then opened that up to BAI to use for the demonstration for their customer. The network contains a lot of Adtran technology as you, as you highlighted there. Can you say how the network was designed? Yep, so the, the first part was to get the, the underground connectivity right. As Ken was saying, the operational challenges about deploying in the underground led to a, a very um, tight solution. So we put in a proposal to use automatic tuning of the optical layer and that reduces the operational complexity for people going and deploying in tunnels. Uh, 
layer two connectivity for the base station hotels and then synchronization and virtualization on top. And I understand that's something that AdTran does you know, a lot to help customers grow. They kind of develop and evolve their roadmap. So BAI being a neutral host, they're looking at how do they host multiple mobile operators on top of that infrastructure. It's a trend that we're seeing around the globe. Neutral host is becoming a really important way of delivering mobile networks. So ad transport portfolio, we're looking at how to evolve that towards a neutral host uh, model where we provide the infrastructure and then host multiple tenants on top of that platform. Ken, as the network nears completion, how do you see the relationship with AdTran developing? So we're fast forwarding a couple of years. Because we, the, I would say the design's nearing completion. We still have a lot of uh, rollout to do. We're a long, long ways um, to go, but we've, we've, co we've come quite a ways. Um, how do I see our relationship with AdTran evolving? Look, they've been there from the start. Uh, AdTrans helped us as we've gone. Um, as Anthony has mentioned, that um, as we grow outside the um, underground into more above ground facilities, we have lots of fiber, but fiber is a bit of a scarce resource at times. And AdTrans products allow us to ship signal from here to there. We're putting, um, as cellular technology gets closer and closer to the customer, then we're going to need to get into more and more unique locations such as uh, street lights and, and, and lamp poles and, and things. And so the, pro the, the product can't dictate the environment, the environment's gonna dictate the product. And if you go back to what our experience was with AdTren, historically where AdTren would work with us to adapt their products to our environment, I can't see how this is not gonna just grow and continue. Great, Ken, Anthony, thanks for joining me today. I look forward to hearing more in the future.